because Foodie did another live stream. While I was reacting to the last one, she was on another one. So consider this a part two, to the last react, where she said she was depressed. So in this live stream called Drive Home Bees, she is driving home from getting her food and whatever else she was getting. The last live stream that she did when she was parked in that parking lot, I thought, doesn't this look familiar? The setting just looked really, really familiar, like I'd seen her in that setting before. And I thought, doesn't that look like Gatno? Like, what is she doing in Gatno? And I know that that is a place that she used to go to a lot when she went to go see Natter. It was also the place where she got her green and did some other things there. But it just looked really familiar, like I've seen her in that parking lot before. And some people on Twitter are pretty much confirming that. It does look like Gatno that she was visiting. And I've said this before in my other React videos, that if you are someone, you're trying to change your life. If you're trying to get away from, say, bad habits that you did, you cannot heal in the same environment that you hurt it. You have to stay away from people and places and things that trigger you, yet Foodie keeps going back to people, places, and things that will prompt her and trigger her to do things that she shouldn't do. So in the drive home bees, and we're starting in at 32 minutes and 42 seconds, the first half of the video, she's driving home and she's playing copyrighted music, so I'm not going to cover that part. Because uh, I don't want YouTube to slap me on the bottom for playing copyrighted music. So we're just going to start in about 32 minutes in because she's still talking. And uh, she seems fine. Like she seems like she feels perfectly fine. But let's sit in and finish out this react tonight with pretty much the part two to the depressed live stream. I mean, I try. I don't feel like I've been a good family member. I don't feel like you haven't. I feel like I've been a good cat owner. You haven't. Don't feel like I've been a good anything. Nope. And it's not because the potential in you is not there. It's just that you've been using it in all the wrong ways. I think that's what it is. At least you don't have to work 45 hours a week. I know. You know what? Honestly, I'm. I feel very happy about that. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. I honestly like wish. I envy people with normal careers. You know. You don't. You don't envy people that go to work and have to adhere to a schedule, 
and get up in the morning or the evening and go to a job and do the job and come home and perhaps they're tired. You don't envy that, Chantal. Maybe you envy the stability, but you're on YouTube. And you're making good money and you can do a lot with that you can do a lot with yourself but you really are not motivated to do that because you've been on youtube for so long and you're so used to this system of doing nothing and getting away with it that you really don't want to change it you know when i go to the doctor the doctor comes in i always pick do you guys ever picture like what professionals lives are like you're allowing the judgment of other people to affect you No, I mean, I guess it's like background noise and it maybe like doesn't help obviously, but I think- You know, I'm confused about you, Chantal, help me here. I'm confused because you don't like the judgment of other people, yet you come on YouTube, a public forum, and you say things to us and you expose things to us to be judged. So you don't like judgment, but yet you're constantly revealing things. You're constantly saying things that you know people are going to feel a certain way about. And they're going to air their thoughts, feelings, and opinions. So you don't want judgment, but yet you won't keep anything private. You don't want like judgment. Don't put things in the public eye. These are just things that I just feel inside myself. You know, not bringing him, he doesn't want one. Kaya said your lipstick is ugly, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> what? My lipstick is not ugly. Let's go. Going in the purse. No, I'm kidding, I don't have a purse. I don't know where my cross bag is either. I drove 50 miles for this chicken and rice. It better taste like heaven. What did my prayer thing just say? Thanks, A+. Don't worry about yesterday. Yeah, I feel bad for- So, you know what, Chantal? You made the first live stream and you purposely titled it depressed you don't look depressed to me you look very happy you look like someone did a live stream and you wanted everyone's attention you want them to be concerned for you when obviously you're fine do you think that's fair to trigger people to get people concerned for no reason for taking a gummy and lying about it too I feel bad. I'm coming, Sam and BB Angels. You know, I wonder if she did the depressed live stream because of the live stream before that, or she was talking about rehoming the pets, and maybe she got some backlash from people, and so this is her way of diversion and deflection. Although I, I am saying right now, I think it's a great idea for her to rehome the pets, just because she does not want to take care of them. She is not providing medical care that, that's needed for either one of the cats. She's not taking them to a mobile groomers. If she's in the headspace where she does not want to take care of the cats, she needs to rehome them. She does need to do that. I need cats. You don't need to hear me huffing and puffing. Hold on a minute. There's something I want to check out real quick. And I feel bad. I'm coming, Sam and BB Angels. Sorry, I want to go back for a second. There's something I saw on the door that I'm like, what is that? My kneecaps. What is that on the door? 
What is that sticker? I can't make it out. What is that? Let me just take a quick screenshot. I'm going to check that out later. That doesn't look right to me. Like I, I'm, I'm not talking about the number of the apartment. That looks fine. Is that like security, security thing? I don't know. But I don't think I've ever seen that before on her door. I'll check it out later. You don't need to hear me huffing and puffing. Is she talking to somebody? Why are we on mute? She's on mute. And she was on mute for a while. Chantal, what are you doing that you're muting? And still on mute. I don't I don't understand the whole situation with the audio being muted. See, like she she was depressed earlier and she had over it real fast when she went to go get her food. You're my chaperone for what? Hello, Lindsay. Oh, chaperone Sherry. I remember chaperone Sherry. No, they don't like me. Love Ark. None of them love me anymore. Porksy? No pork. Did we brush our teeth? Yeah, I did my best. <laughs> what? Real teeth are not perfectly white, Hollywood smile, okay? Can't afford a Hollywood smile. Let's see this rice. Beauty bite. Apologies for anyone that doesn't like her eating. I don't like her eating either. Diego, somehow. This is a halal restaurant. I looked it up. Okay, who's new? Kuwait Arc is not ending. It's on hold. And you all need to be with me there. You love me. You know? <clears throat> what? Who's sniping me? Thanks, not me. Hey, you love Arc. Welcome to Vampire Beauty, the writer said bees. Were you here before? Do you want food markets? Yeah. I have a question for you, foodie. Is the reason why you want to get back to Kuwait so fast and so quickly is because you're worried that Salah might be talking to somebody else? Is that also another reason why you want to get rid of the cats and pizza as quickly as possible to get back over there? I'm just curious. Like, what's the hurry to get back to Kuwait? I showered today and I had to do voodoo a bunch of times. <clears throat> Oh, 
Super Hunt at the Lodge. Welcome to Grand Prix. Be the race of music. I need white nighters in my life right now, okay? Suitcase of memories. Time after. Oh, no, you're not. You really are not singing Cindy Lauper, are you? I love that song. It's a beautiful song. Please don't sing that song and ruin it for me. Hi, GM. So please tell me how you're changing into a better person, Foodie, eating this way on camera. Monetizing your problem with food, catering to the feeders. Tell me again how you're changing and being a better person. If you're putting your ED to work, I really want to know how you're going to explain this to someone like me. Someone that I'm in recovery and I would never dream of monetizing my problem with food. Not that it's a problem now, but it was. How are you changing by doing this? Monetizing your problems versus dealing with your problems. You guys want drama, I know it. I know it. What? You know, I have to wonder, and this is just a serious, serious question. Foodie, just a curiosity. I know that you cater to the feeders. I know you do. It's pretty obvious that you do. You got feeders in your chat, even to this day. So maybe the reason why you went out tonight is because you had a feeder request and you went to go get something specific. They were wanting you to eat. That's why you drove all that way. So you could do this video and get paid for a feeder request. Is that it? I mean, because I don't understand why you would want to drive all the way out to Gatineau if that's where you were. Just to get some chicken and rice. I'm sure there's plenty of places around you where you can get chicken and rice. Or maybe you were out there for something else and decided to pick up some food. Which is it? Butter. <laughs> Chicken biryani is so good, yeah. I haven't had that in a while. Mm. I have to do laundry. So I ordered some bankers boxes, like those big boxes for moving. Why do you need the boxes? You had all you had box about one, two, three, and four. And I'm sure there's plenty of boxes in your bedroom. Thank you, Gemini. I'm getting better at ignoring. You think so? A fufu bees? Mm. Karma, yeah. I didn't change anything for a man. You changed everything for a man. You changed everything for a man. And Sala wasn't the first one. You changed many things when you were with Natter. Remember? You had a channel. Your channel was fine. Then you met up with Natter. And then everything went downhill from there. You got heavily into the drugs. You know, he liked to do drugs, so you like to do drugs, and you did a lot of them. You changed your personality around Natter for a short while, trying to get control of him, back and forth between you two. 
talking in a low BMI voice, acting more submissive to him. You changed everything for a man. You gave up everything for a man. You're still doing it. Well, I made some changes that are good for myself. Thank you. Because of those changes, <laughs> what? Ready, set, rebies, guys. Karma, Beezer. <laughs> mm. Mary Pompkins, I would never ignore you. Sorry, I missed your comment. <sighs> Diego, you nailed it. <clears throat> Where am I moving? Nowhere, I'm gonna be homeless. Yeah, so again, that's the question that's on the chalkboard. So you have two tasks in front of you, foodie. One of them is where are you going to move to? And the other one is going back to Kuwait, if you can possibly go or not. So what is the plan? to get rid of the cats, get rid of Pete's, and move over to Kuwait and be over there full time? Is that the plan? Is that why you're not really looking for another place to go in Canada? That you're just gonna show up in Kuwait and go, hi, Salah, I'm here, and live with him forever? Yeah, good luck with that. He wants to come to Canada. He doesn't wanna be in Kuwait, he said so. He said so in the chat, he wants to come to Canada. So he's not looking to be over there full time like you are. Oh, sorry, Mary. It's a lot changing your religion and fear of disappointing people. It can be a lot of pressure. Don't be hard on yourself. Take it when it... Thank you, Mary. Yeah, it's so true. Like... You feel like a pressure to, like, uphold an image. I'm, like, afraid to... Not be good enough. You know. I can be silly, but. <clears throat> God. What's your deal with, uh, you really hate that Kaya person, eh? Louise? Eh, I'm scared. So here we go. What did I tell y'all I was going to be looking out for? The, the toilet paper. This is classic foodie. Remember when she was partying with Natter? Her constant allergies that would just turn on and off at will. Even in the dead of winter, having the allergies. So we're back to this, Chantal. We're back to this. Carrying around rolls of toilet paper. So what are you doing that's making you blow your nose all the time and wipe your nose? What are you doing? I bet I can guess. Has nothing to do with the cold, mama. Normal clothes? Yeah. Like with my... And you know what? I'm somebody that I've had colds before. If she had a cold, wouldn't she be sneezing? Wouldn't she have red eyes? Wouldn't she just be completely stuffed up and miserable? I would think so, because that's usually what colds do to you. So, what's up with the toilet paper, Bodie? What are you doing? It's making your nose run. Hey, everything hanging out like before? No, I don't, he wouldn't want that. No, I wouldn't want that either. Can't blame him. No, thank you. I mean. <laughs> She 
She's out for me? Oh no. What is she gonna do? Fly on her broom down here? The olive green bodycon dress. <laughs> If it were more flowy, it would be modest, right? <laughs> Angela. I know people are just talking drama. The jaw's popping. Thanks, coffee first. There's a pink spot on my chicken. Ew. The spicy tears add to my mood. My hair? On the top? Well. <laughs> down under you yeah. the widow's peak is out of control it's a long long widow's peak guys <laughs> you know how they say if you cut it off it comes back twofold well guess what i don't know what the deal is, but you know, Chantal, I don't. You said in the first live stream that you were depressed. I don't know if that's true, although I don't see you being depressed here. What I see you doing, though, is a lot of stress eating. This is stress eating. Not sure why you're stressed out, but you're just eating at the speed of light. That you're probably catering to those stupid feeders again. And by the way, that is a great thumbnail. Thank you for holding still. But uh, I'm wondering if your stress has anything to do with that sticker I saw on your front door. I'm looking into it right now as we speak. I never wore wigs for him. <laughs> no flop. Nick Cage. He likes me just how I am. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and y'all wonder why the reactors, why we have to react to her as soon as she puts up a live stream. Chantal over there complaining that the reactors don't wait their turn at the table and wait till she's done. Well. Here's an example of why we can't. While we can't wait our turn at the table, we have to sit down and eat as soon as the food is on the table because she does this crap. That's okay, Chantal, go ahead. It's all right. Not mad, not mad at all. I was almost done anyway. I've done like two reacts today, this will be my third. But uh, <laughs> Chantal, listen to me. If you're over there hurting for money, if you gotta go back to Kuwait to see Sala, if you need money for moving, it's not gonna do you well to get rid of live streams because if people wanna see the live streams, you know what's gonna happen? They go to the reaction channels because we have it and you don't. <laughs> Another reason why I'm sure you got rid of this live stream is because you were playing music. And that means you can't monetize the stream. So, <laughs> because you can't make money on it, it's gonna be off your channel, but that's all right. That's okay. All you've done is do a live stream at about an hour's worth that the reaction channels can profit off of. So, <laughs> I love that for you, I do. So, I guess that's all we have, y'all. 
I guess that's it. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, don't know if Chantal's coming back on, but I'll keep an eye out. So thanks for watching and y'all have a great night. Bye-bye. You know what? Screw that. <laughs> I'm coming back on. I ain't done yet. Before she gets rid of this, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to the comments. Screw you, Chantal. So the boss lady says, dang, all you do is eat. Yeah, because she's catering to the feeders. And the feeders are more than happy to let her. So she's changed. She's becoming a better person. How are you doing that if you're monetizing one of your addictions, Chantal? And see. So, yeah, Miss Indy says, vile. So that's it for the comments. I just want to capture them before her video is gone. So we're going back to the outro. So see y'all later and have a good one.